Hello everybody, welcome to Feldy. We find ourselves back on this wonderful map created by Farmer Yip for Farming Simulator 11. I've done a little work off cam and we've basically completed our harvest. We'll now kind of go around to our various bits of equipment. Oh, there's kind of a log we have <laughs> that's strayed from over here somehow that we have here for testing purposes. Hopefully it doesn't interfere with anything. Let me continue here just to go wake up all my machinery. Here we have, yeah, we're in the middle of cultivating. Am I pointed the right way? I think that kind of am. Let me get just a little. And it's always hard to get right on 90. All right, let me reset the course. I'm gonna get him going. And we'll just hire him so we can work away. So we've been cultivating fields in here, kind of doing the after harvest care, if you will. Just tabbing between all these, don't have a need for this at the moment. Oh yes, we were in the middle of cutting some more grass. I think I'm finally ready to maybe consider getting some cattle. And that's kind of what I hope to accomplish in this episode. We'll see if I can get the job done. But I... I need to get them something to eat. So let me get this going. And I think I'm on target drive. Let's have him stop at the end. And all right, we'll just let him do what he's doing. Let me check to make sure there's no error. Okay, good. Sometimes he has an error when he's cutting. Oh yes, Russell, this is for you. I'll put out the fuel tank just in the odd chance that I need it. I'm gonna test something here. I moved the point of exit, so we're gonna see if it kicks me over to the right side. Aha, it does. All right, that's cool. That was so simple. All I had to do was open the uh, scenograph of the model and there was an item labeled exit point and it was over here on the left side. I just turned it over to here, so that now when I get out of here, boom, I'm over on the correct side of the vehicle relative to where you would ordinarily get in and out of the vehicle. All right, let me go see. Oh yes, we're all prepared to plant. I don't think I'll do any planting here for the moment. Like I say, I'm kind of in prep mode. Uh, once I have all the fields cultivated, and I think I'll come through and plant. So let me go, okay, that's the combine. Just kind of cycling through. Yeah, there's not much for this to do at the moment. And like I say, we're over here uh, cultivating. So I'm gonna need a little more machinery to haul in the grass. Um, Unlike in real life, we can't just bale it and feed it to our cattle in the form of a bale. We have to, as I recall correctly, bring it in loose, so we're going to need to prepare for that. So while they're going here, I would like to take a look. I don't know if I have a modded trailer with which to pick up material. Maybe Farmer Yip had one as part of the package. I know I can get that to the Bergman shuttle. Boy, that sucker's 90 grand. That's pretty spendy. Uh, let me see here. Maybe there is something else that is a forage trailer picker-upper. Yeah, well, that's a forage trailer, but it doesn't pick it up. I'm cycle in through. You know, I don't think Farmer Yip had a trailer I'm not seeing it in any of the other mods so I could let me see what do we have for in all right we got this one here that at 60,000 holds 15,000 is there another one this one here oh boy that's a hundred thousand fifty three thousand liters Got this one here. Oh my, only 47,000 and it costs 135. Wow, 
AR Proud of the East. Here's 90. It holds 43. Alright, so what was the mod again? I think, well, the smallest here, and we don't really have very far to go to haul the grass, so... No, this holds 15,000. But you know, I got money, so let me go over to the mods again, and let me see how much this one was. Always good to go shopping and see what's available. 44,000, and this is for 90. Now, there was another one that was 90,000. I don't remember how many, how much it carried in volume. So let me try this again. That is 60, that's for 15. I maybe should have done this before boring you all. This is 100, and it holds 53. That's substantially more than the other. Just want to make sure it actually can. This one here, 47. Th yeah, this is going the wrong way. I think this one is 90 and it's 43. That's very similar to the other. So, how about this one here? It's 10 grand more, but it holds 53, which is more than the other. So, well, let me get this a try. And, alright, let me go back out here can I get to other tractor very good very good drop it here and I'm gonna see if this is gonna pick up some grass already full of fuel so I just gotta head down over the hill and give this a try Oh, and I'm reminded as I drive by the hedge here as it scratches all the paint on my pristine tractor that the hedge needs a trim too. Come on down over the hill, get myself over here in the field, and oh, it's starting to put strips in the field. So I basically have 642,000 remaining in my cash stores to purchase some other things. And I think I pretty well have the machinery contingent that I need. Um, so I think I can dedicate most of it to cattle. But let me make sure that I can actually pick this up. You know, when you have a specialty map like Phil, that you kind of wonder if. Alright, let me get this going. I gotta lower this. Let me see. No, I think that should pick it up just normal. When you have a specialty map, you always wonder if the standard in game equipment is gonna. Aha, there we go. Look at that. Alright, so now I know that this will properly pick up grass. And I'm going to leave a few bits in the field. Always hate that. Back up and get it here. I'll just take a round here while keeping an eye on my windrower. So the cattle in this version of Arming Sim really had two feed sources, one of which was grass or dry grass. I think we're basically giving it loose uh, grass straight out of the field. And then the second one was chaff. And this is in contrast to later versions where the chaff would be uh, compressed or, or fermented rather in, in the clamp and would take a little time to turn into silage. You had to mix the feed or provide certain feed components to get you know, what was called total mixed ration, I think is what they call the TMR. And, but in this version, what it was set up for, I think was maybe preparing for that or trying to, uh, trying to get part way there with whatever limitations in the coating that they had to provide cattle uh, you know, cattle was something new in Farming Sim 11, so they went part way there and and got some of the feed support. So in here, you fed your cattle chaff, you know, which was chopped corn or, or well, I say or, and you fed them grass. 
and I think you had to have basically an equal components or maybe it wasn't equal. I'd have to look at the coding again to kind of see how it was. So your tractor up there is still working away. I can go all the way up here and get a trailer. So maybe when I get up to the corner here I'll pause just for a moment and we can look at a couple things to see what we're going to need for these cattle. And maybe this is published somewhere, maybe it isn't, maybe some people remember it just from playing the game. Um, I kind of like to see, you know, what kind of uh, feed rations are needed, kind of what to prepare for um, in, in these cattle. Because I don't think it's, <laughs> I don't think it's really based in reality, um, but, but we'll see. Let me just save it for kicks and let's get out of the game. Aha, here we are. Okay, while we're kind of paused there, here's kind of some of the stats, and I don't know if you can see this very well on the screen, that I looked up, and this, I don't think, I mean, these are constants. You know, when you see a G underscore, and then you see, like here, milk liters per cow per day, it's kind of a constant. It's a global variable, that's what it's called, because it can be seen everywhere in the entire Lewis script system, if you will. Um, so it can be picked up at any time. It's a global variable. Here's what uh, liters, milk liters per cow per day. Now, I'm not a dairyman, but I gotta say 30,000 liters per cow per day seems way huge. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. Well, and over here in the U.S., I think we, we operate on a gallon scale and I don't I'm trying to remember from school what they told us about cows and it's probably way low uh, yeah I'm not even gonna venture a guess but uh, 30,000 seems way over the top okay well so maybe they're trying to represent several cows uh, who knows they have this uh, milk price per liter you know one dollar uh, milking place milk per cow you know there's a machine I think the cow can go into to get milked I really don't know how this variable is used maybe when the cow touches the ad it just automatically adds a thousand liters I I don't know and then it has you know the back end of the cow uh, <laughs> you know what it's gonna produce and liquid manure uh, solid manure has how many liters per day again this seems to be representing way more than a single cow. I know cows are fairly big animals, but 10,500 liquid liters? That just seems like a crazy amount. And then, of course, down here, too. I guess I stand corrected. I thought it was equal amounts. It isn't. We have to feed each cow 14,400 liters of grass per day and 19,200 liters of chaff so those kind of are the basic inputs if you will that we need I just kind of located them in the code uh, there's some other things going on here we don't need to look at and there's a section of code here that I searched for and I think this is what dictates uh, the feeding of the cattle the output from the cattle whether it's manure or milk or any of this this is in um, FS a submission it's a Lua file it's in its update meaning it's called every frame of the game so you know that if you have cows it's going to be constantly producing milk or constantly calculating how much you have so I mean this is kind of what it's all going through and this is where you see kind of a lot of the uh, factors that impact this all the way from the difficulty multiplier now we are playing on hard and I think when you play on hard the uh, difficulty factor that is stored in the game table is a three so here the multiplier is two to the power of three minus three so that'd be zero so two to the zero power is of course one so a difficulty multiplier for one if you have a uh, if you were on easy mode, this multiplier would be higher. 
you know, be, it'd be two or four, you know, so if you're playing on easy mode, it's going to probably calculate way more milk, because you see down here where the uh, difficulty multiplier is used, new milk, while we playing on hard have a whopping one, so it isn't going to do anything, it's just going to calculate over here, but if you're playing on easy, you know, it's going to give you a, a higher number. Difficulty usage multiplier. I think that this is probably yeah. See the the difficulty multiplier is used on output of you know new milk, liquid manure, uh, manure, and this the uh, difficulty usage I think is going to be used on the grass and the chaff that you feed them. It's got this curious little thing in here, LERP however you pronounce it at, I believe what it does, and here it's using the difficulty factor to calculate something in between 0.6 and 1. And the higher the difficulty, the closer to 1 that it's going to be, and in our case it is 1, so it means we're going to use the full amount. Remember those uh, global uh, variables grass per cow per day, chaff per cow per day. You know, here we got the difficulty usage, that's one. If we were place, uh, playing on easy, it would be a fraction over here. So you would use less grass, less chaff per cow per day. You know, here of course is a number of cows. And so all of this in here is just calculating constantly based on our difficulty factor, based on how many cows we have, based on these constant numbers that are programmed in you know inputs per cow that we're not able to modify or oh, well we could we just write a script to and then there's a fraction of a day that it's calculating how much grass we need it's looking at our inventory it's pulling it out of the silo to see how much we have there you know get silo amounts figuring out how much we need how much we're using and how much milk that's gonna made make uh, I guess one reason I looked here was to at least determine that if I buy some cows and it takes me a little while to feed them will they die and the short answer is no you know basically if you don't feed your cows they're just not gonna produce they'll just sit there and eat your pasture and they won't produce any milk so that's kind of what all this is doing is just setting up how much you're you're putting into your cows and how much they're outputting so i guess i just wanted to see that, that. Um, i'm interested many times in reading the lua code because that's kind of dictates how the game works and you know kind of what we're seeing but we uh basically if we uh do everything right you know we'll get this many liters per cow and you know i tried to see how the price of milk changed we'll look at it in the moment uh, in the game i don't know if there's something in here that modifies it as time goes like it does for some of the other commodities or if it stays at a dollar per liter but depending on how many cows i have i mean that's 30 grand per day you know that i'll get and all i need to do is feed them grass and chaff right now all i have to give them is grass so actually if i look at this over here when i look at new milk oh yeah see there's a grass chaff multiplier it adds the two together so if i'm not feeding them chaff i'm not getting as much milk but um yeah so I need to feed them both. If I feed them none, I at least won't lose my cows. I kind of think in later versions, particularly when the season's mod came to be, uh, you could start losing cows if you didn't feed them. So I at least know I'm not gonna lose them in here. <laughs> Good to know. Let me check here real quick. I was kind of curious, aha, so it does give me a milk price and that's 1222 is that per thousand I kind of think that is per thousand yeah it's dollars per ton but I wonder if that's per metric ton so maybe what that means is uh, dollars per thousand liters so that'd be a dollar 22 interesting I might have to do some more research in the code to see kind of how um, 
how uh, the pricing for milk works. But for the moment, let me just see if I can get myself a trainer load of grass. Yeah, all right, a windrower has is done. It's ceased operation over there. See, the thing of it is, I don't know how many cattle I can sustain on this map if. You know, I gotta feed each cow nearly 15,000 liters of grass per day. That's a lot of grass. And so I'm kind of curious, you know, I'm, I'm, oh, it's another skip on, on it. Um, so this thing is gonna hold 50, 53,000 liters once I get it full. Kind of curious to see how many trailer loads I can get off of this. And, and then it's going to take a while to regrow. Now I do have on the other side of the map there is significant grasslands over there, so I could uh, go harvest that over there, go cut it, and pick it up. And given enough time, this of course will regrow. It just it may limit. You know, if I don't plant any more grass, you know, it all obviously it's going to have an impact on how many cattle I can support in here. All right, I'm two-thirds full. Yeah, I think I kind of like having a bigger one, a little better than a dinky one, because then I'm running down there all the time. This lets me pack a little bit more in. But I tell you, I am going to have to wait in order to get some chaff. I believe I need to have corn for that. I'm trying to remember if in Farm Sim 11, if you you could get a chaff any other way. I know in later versions you could, uh, with your forage harvester, cut, maybe even cut grass and get a chaff from it. Uh, but I don't know that they, that, that we were there with Army Sim 11. All right, I'm gonna have to go in and move our move our windrower. Oh come on, take me to it. Make it a fearsome racket outside. Stop. All right, let me move him out of the way. Just kind of take him down the hill and park it. I suppose I could even cut the pasture, but but see if I, I figure if I'm going to put cows on it, I really I really shouldn't do that. So all right, let me hop out of here, go back up the hill, and get back into my tractor. Actually, I probably could just tab into it. There. There we go. You know what? Yeah, my, uh, my guy is done cultivating over the air, but I think I'm going to continue with him until I just fill up my trailer. It's actually kind of headed towards afternoon to evening in the map here. So, I do want to get cattle on the premises. I just, I don't know, I feel, it just feels funny buying an animal without having feed in the trough for them to eat. I know they have that whole pasture out there. Kind of excited to see them out there. Get a couple of them in there. Then I gotta take care of everything. So this will hopefully give us some regular cash flow. We're just gonna have to take steps to make sure we can keep them fed. Have a bunch of fat to, um, happy cattle out eating the grass, keeping the pasture down, earning us some money. Money, money, money. And, you know, the previous time that I played Feldy, I don't recall ever giving, I think I've mentioned this before, I haven't given the cows a try, or the feed cattle, you know, we did the ad, of course, a little bit ago, hauled them to market, and, oh yeah, that reminds me, I tried to do a little modding on the trailer that animals are hauled in. I ended up fixing, there was a, when you're hauling hogs, 
one of them kind of clips through the end of the trailer. I ended up fixing that. But I looked at some of the... Uh, to, to see if there was a script that told it, you know, hey, when you're selling the cattle, make a cow sound. And as it turns out, it wasn't... Oh, here I'm full. It wasn't a particular sound on sale. What it was is whoever designed the trailer, you know, there is whenever the hydraulics move, um, it, instead of having the sound of a hydraulic cylinder, it instead had the sound of the cattle. And it just so happens the only time the cylinder is needed is when, when the cattle are being loaded or when they're being unloaded. So really, in order to uh, do a ride, I'd have to write a script to swap out sounds. Now, you notice I didn't go to this trough over here, kind of just over the side. That is for the feed cattle. This one here, you know what? I'm really giving it a try. I hope it works because, let me see if I get in here. Will it let me? Ah, oh, you rascal. It, uh, oh, phooey. Now, I know I have triggers up and down in here, and boy, it's not letting me put any of that in here. Wow. Oh my goodness, this thing is a behemoth. Oh, uh, yeah, kind of drove right through the fence. Okay, I'm going to need to check the, uh, the triggers to see if they're set up properly. It looks like I may need to do some work on them. I can give these a try over here too. There's old barn over here where I should be able to drive in here and drop off. Dog my cats. It isn't going to let me do it here either. Well, well, well. Yeah, see if I just try to I get closer will that be? I wonder if it isn't set up for the proper collisions. Hmm. Aha, aha. Look at that. Here we go. Alright, it's at me. And Alright, even though I'm dumping it over here, it's putting the uh, you can see the grass plane rise. So, okay, so maybe I just wasn't quite close enough. That can happen too. There's a certain uh, distance in there that you gotta be in order to, oh, crash, very good. Ah, it's so tight uh, quarters in here. All right, this here can go back out to the field and we can continue um, our harvest of grass. But now that I have some kind of sitting in the trough, let me see, how does this appear? when I just take a look and see what I have in storage. Grass, cycle, grass, 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 feeding trough, grass, aha, there it is, 53,000. So what I need to have is, yeah, I just, silage clamp, corn silage, I, I don't know if that, uh, that maybe is the clamp up here. Anyway, I don't have any silage at the moment, but I'm glad to see that it registered the grass, you know, that I put in there. You know, I realize some of you may think, well, no big deal. Isn't that what it's supposed to do? Well, of course, um, but you may recall I made a number of changes in the map. I rearranged some things. I was trying to put some things in there that was a little bit more, that followed more the way the giants laid things out. And as it turns out, I think I ended up screwing some things up. I still have that error that's popping in the map, and you know, I think I explained the temporary fix that I had to do to, to kind of work with it. So, all right, you know, uh, let me go clean up my, let's see, who's hauling? Okay, you're on the cultivator. No, not you. Here we go. It always changes my field detection. Turn it off. 
Okay. The hired help works pretty decent in here, but there's always just a little bit to clean up after him. Compass is pretty helpful too in getting everything set up properly. But some of these hills in here are so doggone steep that um, it, uh, I, th <laughs> I think it's because it must operate kind of on a flat plane, if you will. And when you give it too steep of a hill, you know, it starts doing things like this, you know, leaving strips of uh, areas that aren't uh, cultivated. And I, th I think we recall, if you recall, we noticed the same thing happening kind of with, uh, with the combine too and probably anything else, you know, we would put in here. I think the other end is taken care of. I've already uh, cultivated all the fields kind of over on the other side of the mountains. You know, now we're just kind of taking care of this eye and yeah, I've got a little work here to do. I'm just going to come up to the end here and I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Actually, let me get out of this. We have peace of quiet. Yeah, it's just treacherously steep here. Look at that. It's a wonder anything stays to the hill. Before we go, everybody just heard the bell. Let's buy some cows. Okay, 25 grand a piece. Well, let me get four of them. One, two, three, four. Okay, no errors. And here, cow, cow, cow. Hmm. Well, let me just sneak downhill here. We're gonna see if we have any cows roaming the place. I think I see one. Yes, I do. Sweet. Okay, so this proves that um, it does work. We have cattle on the place. I know one of the things I mentioned, it has to do with my install, where I know some things appear to be an error. I know when I look inside the app editor, I can't pull up the cattle area where they roam it just it it appears strange in the air it takes up the whole map so something is off in there but i'm pleased to see the cattle are exactly where they're supposed to be one over here two over there and one right here well and then there's a static cow over there so they should already be uh munching on hay they haven't eaten any oh <laughs> look at that they've already given us some milk and I don't know that they have yeah surely they've taken a little bit of, of hay so well that is that I think we're at the end of the episode I'm very happy to have cattle on the place now but uh, now we need to take care of them so we will be doing the ad in future episodes but thank you so much for coming along for uh, sticking with Feldy for a little while. I'm still enjoying the app. Hope you are too. Have a wonderful day.